Okay, as you can see, it's still boiling away pretty much as before. I have to give it an occasional stir. It's probably got it. So that helps get some of the water out too. And you'll also see what it sort of consistency it looks like when you're stirring it. But I use these tongs, and as you can see, the mixture's still very, very thin. Look, and that's quite a good way. Of, another good way of telling what sort of level of liquid is left in the sugar mixture is by the consistency of coming off a spoon, especially as it starts to cool a little bit on the spoon. Well, you'll see that's pouring water, that's all straight off there and leaving a fairly clean spoon. So, that's not really, that's not fudge yet. Okay, that's just so, uh, you can see it's boiling when I stir down, but that's just so you can see the sort of consistency of the mixture at the moment. There's, um, I suppose there's three main reasons I put the lid on. One is you want to boil the water off so you don't want the lid keeping it in there. Two is you really don't want the sugar to get any hotter because it's hot enough as it is. And if it starts to boil over, that's going to be some very, very hot liquid that's going to be sticking on you. And the third one is you want to be able to watch it. So definitely don't put the lid on when you boil. That's a, that'd be disastrous in more ways than one. Oh, hang on, my tongs aren't going back. <laughs> 